Hi there, my name is Terry Austin and I'm a professor who uses Pearson's textbooks and technology to help my students be successful as they learn anatomy and physiology. Pearson has asked me to make this short video to help you understand what's available to help you achieve your educational goals in your class. Your professor has chosen Visual Anatomy and Physiology by Martini, Ober, Nath, Bartholomew, and Petty. This is a textbook written especially with student success in mind. From the moment you open this book, you'll notice that it's unlike a traditional textbook. The authors have integrated the art and the text so that it's easier for you to visualize each concept. Ideas are organized into two-page spreads like the one you see here. Everything you need to know about a topic is on these two pages. Notice that the spread begins with a header statement. This tells you what you'll be learning in this module. You'll then follow the red numbers to read about the topic as it relates to the art. And finally, at the bottom right corner, you'll see questions that you can use to quiz yourself to make sure that you understand what you just read before you move on. When you turn the page, the next module, like all modules in this book, has got the same format. These are short and easy to manage so that you can fit in study time between classes, before work, or in between family time. In addition to your textbook, there are animations and other extra help available to you in the self-study area of Mastering AMP. That's the software built to accompany your textbook. For example, throughout the book there are icons, like the one we see here, that indicate access to help is available online, in case you're studying for tomorrow's test and can't call your instructor but still need a little extra help. In this example, to get the extra help for excitation contraction coupling, you would simply click on the self-study area in Mastering, pull down the menu for the chapter that you're currently studying, and find that particular AMP flicks listed among all the other helpful tutorials and animations. The sequence of events that converts action potentials in a muscle fiber to a contraction is known as excitation-contraction coupling. If we look at a single muscle fiber, we see that an action potential travels across the entire sarcolemma and is rapidly conducted into the interior of the muscle fiber by structures called transverse tubules. Your instructor may have you working in a slightly different version of Mastering AMP called Modified Mastering. There is a little difference in how things are laid out, but the content is exactly the same. To access the study area, in this course, you'll want to click Study Area in the menu on the left, and then select Access the Self-Study Area. From there on, everything else is exactly the same. Besides hundreds of practice quizzes, art labeling exercises, and other tools to help you here in the study area, you'll find some very nicely done videos to help you learn the skeletal system. The cranium is the part of the skull that encloses the brain. It's made up of the frontal bone, which ends at the coronal suture. The authors of your book also write a more traditional textbook. Both versions are here for you in the study area as e-text. Both books contain the same information, just in different formats. In your course, you probably will have a list of anatomical structures that your instructor will want you to learn. For this, your very best tool is PAL, the Practice Anatomy Lab. As we open PAL in the study area, you'll see that you have access to a human cadaver, anatomical models, a full set of histology slides, as well as a cat and fetal pig. To see how this works, let's open the anatomical models section and simply enter a structure that you're going to likely have to find in your own class in the search window. Here, I'll search for biceps brachii. We can choose to show or hide the labels. Often structures will have a camera icon Clicking the icon once, you can hear the name pronounced properly. Biceps brachii. Double-clicking the camera icon will show a brief video explaining the structure. Biceps brachii is the large two-headed flexor muscle located in the anterior compartment of the arm. Here in PAL, you can also practice to see what you've learned by taking a quiz where you can practice identifying structures that you're learning, selecting from several possible answers in a multiple-choice format. When you feel you're ready, you might want to try a lab practical where you'll have to type in the name properly. This will be great practice as you get ready for your exams.
There are many more types of tutorials to help you in mastering AMP. I hope that this introduction has helped you to understand what's available so that you can use these tools to your best advantage as you study anatomy and physiology. If by chance your book did not come with Mastering AMP, please ask your professor, your bookstore, or simply go online to www.masteringamp and get registered today. The best of luck to you.